hi guys so um today is monday it's currently 9 ish 9 p.m i was usually just about to enter in bed because today i'm just so tired i've had a long day at school plus i really had a long weekend so like you know like i was busy the entire weekend so i guess i'm gonna start with this because it feels heavy this is the amazon package um i ordered finally 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 i just decided to just close my eyes and order for the um so this is um vanilla and caramel so these two flavors are going for i don't remember the price but i was like this is fair considering i get two flavors anyway so i got this what is this <laughs> my touch mug is here guys oh. oh my gosh let's see hopefully it's like you know looking like how it was looking there because if it's good guys i'm just going to carry this one to school tomorrow <laughs> so i got a brown one it's actually like a good size then the nails are here oh! <laughs> they're so cute like those acrylic nails the coughing ones That's so cute. Literally, I'm telling you guys, I got like an entire set of like nail stuff. So I'm not playing. I'm not playing with my nails. So let me show you what else. Oh, I got a top. I think I'm going to do like a sheen haul because at this point I have like a couple of clothes for sheen. I might as well like do a haul, maybe like on TikTok. So I got this. I'll have to check the the way the model wore this because now I'm not sure. I took a size large. So with my nails, also got these um stickers. I saw uh some inspo over there and they had put like these two flowers. So I'm gonna also try with this. And then this is the other blouse. The problem with sheen is the materials. Like the materials are not what I was expecting, but this is like. This one should fit. This one looks okay. The other one is one that I'm worried because of the boobs part. I feel like it's big. And apparently they are coming like all of this. Like not just one. But I guess that's fine. So there's five of them. Nail file. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why is this like, I don't know, like rubber? So guys, you know like if you've been watching my vlogs i kept on commenting that i need like a tray a bathroom tray to put on my sink so that i can put like you know like some stuff on it to organize imagine it's rubber i thought this was like it literally looked like as in like marble i don't know how to explain it. on the picture it looked like it was gonna be like glass or something like something that can break what is this in, it looks like the picture but i just didn't know it was gonna be like a rubbery texture i'm gonna put this together with you guys so this is done for like clipping your nails so i got the uv lights it's so this is how it looks i need to connect it like right now and make sure it's working i don't know if you guys know what this is like when i want to do like a french tip so you just put your nail like this and then wow guys look at all these colors like all these are mine hello these nails are about to be <laughs> so yeah this is so nice gosh i don't even care about the size they look small but i mean obviously i'm not gonna be using all of this at the same time and the top coat base coat and stuff here they are I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Guys, this is how I ended up um putting this tray. I put this tray here. I put my diffuser and my face cleaning brush. And then the other things, I just put them here in the basket. Like, you know, my sanitary towels, extra tissue, and stuff like that. Yeah. Good morning, guys. So today is Tuesday. It's literally um, Tuesday morning. So I, I just finished getting ready. Um, 
I want to make breakfast uh, quickly because right now it's currently 10. I, you remember I showed you guys I got a job interview, so that's at 11. Uh, oh my god, I'm so anxious. I'm so nervous. I really just hope they pick me. I'm gonna have like one egg and one sausage because I, I feel so nervous. I don't even want to eat, but I know if I don't eat, I'm going to be hungry. So... Um, it's currently 10. Hopefully, I'll be done with breakfast and stuff within the next, like, 30 minutes because my interview is at 11 and I need to leave here at least by 10.45. Guys, our fridge is just looking so messy. It's, like, it's thawed down so there's, like, water in here. Oh, no. So, yeah, the weather is looking nice today. I feel nervous. My head is aching. I just, I'm feeling so many things, guys. <sighs> But I'm just praying everything goes well. And yeah. But I can guys pray for me. I could release the money. You know, like I've been depending on my dad to like send me money and stuff, which is not um just you know, like every time asking for money and stuff, like I really just wish I was financially independent. Because not every little thing I have to ask him for money, you know. So he actually left me his um credit card with me. So the worst thing about that is every time I use it, he gets notified. So you can imagine, I can't just like buy anything and everything I want to. So, and then obviously things here are so expensive. Like, I just, I can't. So, yeah, so let me have breakfast and pray and go. It's still Monday. I got back from school. Remember I told you guys I went for the interview and then I had class after. So I got back to my place. And then I called my parents because, you know, I was just stressed a bit then. It's currently, um, I can't even check the time. I think it's like 7 p.m. And I decided, you know what, let me just do something that I like to do and just like release the stress. So I decided to just do my nails right now. So what happened is I went for the job interview and there's something that they asked of me that I didn't have. So, I mean, the one who interviewed me was kind enough to tell me, you know, like I can go back there on Thursday to with that thing that they I didn't have. So, I mean, I don't know, but I just feel like I just lost all psych. You know how when you feel like everything is okay, like you have everything, then you get there, and then apparently you just don't have that one thing. And then you just feel like, uh, like, you just feel like, I don't even know. Like, so psychless, you know. Like, literally, I almost just decided to just come home and, like, not go to school because I was just feeling like I can't. <laughs> But I still went to school, so I just want to do my nails, just relax, and because you know, apparently to I can't go tomorrow. Tomorrow being Wednesday, because um here in London there's going to be like a strike, a train strike, um so there won't be any available transport. So tomorrow all transport systems are gonna be shut down. So so yeah, he said he said that it's fine. I can just go on Thursday. So. Hopefully the same round I have everything because I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, let's do my nails and then yeah. My setup for um the nails. Hi guys, so I finished um doing my nails. I really like them. You know, considering it it was my first time, sorry. Considering it was my first time doing them. Oh I love them. I've done the full tutorial on TikTok, so follow me on TikTok. I'm feeling so much better, honestly, about the whole job thing. Like, I'm slowly starting to learn to let go of things I can't change. And yeah, we try again on Thursday. Good morning, guys. So it, today is Thursday. <sighs> like I told you guys, I was supposed to go back to that place where I got interviewed to go back with like some of the documents they asked me of that i didn't have so like i think right now it's almost um what time is it 10 40. so you remember i told you guys the manager was just so casual he was like 
I just go any time of the day he'll be there because he's usually there the whole day. So like I decided to read I just go not too early and not so late. Like I feel like eleven is fine. And then come with me. So I'm not even taking breakfast. I'm just so anxious. Okay, today I feel like today I'm a bit less anxious than how I was the first time. Because I already know what to expect, you know. I mean, of course, I'm a bit nervous, but it's not as bad as the first day. Because right now, honestly, guys, what am I doing? Honestly, guys, right now, I'm just going with the, with the attitude of like, you know, it is what it is. I did my best. If this is meant for me, it's going to work out for me. If not, probably someone else deserves it more than me. And that there's something else better for me out there so yeah like i'm just trying my best to master the art of accepting things i can't change and you know work towards those that i can i also just did light makeup today like i said it's a like a sports shop and stuff so i figured i don't want to go there with like looking like i don't know <laughs> I feel like I need to look kind of like cute, just, you know, like to make sense for the role. Anyway, so yeah, in fact, I just want to leave right now. Like, I'm not taking breakfast. I'm not doing any of that. Ugh, I got a text. Let me. Then dip me get the job and i've literally just been sulking all day because i just can't believe because i literally went up to there again today just like that guy said and imagine this guy is telling me okay i don't know if i even told you the dynamics of the whole situation that day when i went there for the interview i got to the door you know okay first of all i reached that late um the interview is supposed to be at 11 i got that at 11 or 7. i was having like issues with transport like i, I was just it's just a long story anyway so i got to the door and then i find this lady and this guy standing by the door talking so i'm like hi i'm here to see the manager they're like uh what's what's up and i'm like i'm here for the interview and then this girl is like oh his son is going to be doing the interview for you the guy next to her so i'm like oh shit so already you know already i just lost my composure because i'm like if he's done doing my interview then now he knows i'm late you know and i've not even had time to like sit down compose myself and all that like i've literally just met him at the door and i'm looking at him he doesn't even look like a man like he's young he looks like he's probably in his 30s and then he has tattoos all over his hands and stuff he has like piercings so i'm like ah uh, Maybe he's not going to be, you know, like harsh and stuff. So he asked me to go to his office. He's coming. So I went there. I waited I waited for him for like a few minutes. Then he came. He asked me, you know, like questions and stuff. Then he asked me for that thing, which I didn't have, which to be honest, I didn't even know what it was. But apparently it's some kind of like a code here in the UK. They call it a share code whereby... um. You, it's something um as an immigrant you apply for it like online so this code is something that um the employer uses to check your status in the uk like when they enter this code in the um, whatever their search whatever all the details come up like it shows your immigration status you know like are you here like on a uk i mean student visa whatever visa it is and for how long 
um are you eligible to work and what jobs you can and cannot do all that information is there with that code so me when i read the email they said i need to come with my proof of work and they went with my brp because on my brp it's literally written like you know i'm here on student visa and these are the required hours of work that i need to work so i thought that should be enough you know i didn't know about any share code and all that so he was like okay you know what because you know he just didn't know then i can just you can just go and then you can come back on now when he told me i can come back on either wednesday which was the next day or thursday uh you come with a share code because i cannot like hire you without knowing like you know if you actually have the right to work you know and i'm like also oh, the brp is not enough he's like no i'm like okay cool thank you so much for at least you know, allowing me to come back with it you know like it's fine i can even come back the same day though i had classes that day so i was willing to even go to school which was like literally on the other side of london and then go back again the same day but i was like no no, no it's fine you can just come tomorrow or thursday oh no tell me where i get that at the door again i find those two late the lady and that guy at the door so i'm saying hi this guy is looking at me like he does not know me he has never seen me any like in his entire life mind you that's crazy because it's just been like a day since i was here last and that shop let me tell you that shop was empty even on tuesday when i went there it was so empty i was even wondering oh my god like where are people like what's going on in this shop are they closing down or what's going on it's a big store it's uh it's called sports direct it's a famous store here in london but i hear apparently they usually have like off seasons like especially when the kids go back to school and stuff like that like probably like one person would enter the store you get but we are now approaching the peak season which is like christmas season and all that stuff so people will start like you know booming in and stuff so you can imagine on that day when i entered at the store especially at that time because it was morning i was i think there's literally one person inside the store like who was like i guess shopping and stuff like there were no people as in my point is to say it's not like there were so many people that oh my god is not gonna remember who i was blah blah seriously it was just like probably now four people that person was shopping those two and now me you get i really felt like they were demeaning me as in like you know they're just like what do you want again like you actually came back you know so i reintroduced myself at the door mind you they've not even given me like ele like the way you can just be like oh i actually remember you yeah yeah come this way you know even no he's like oh yeah you know um yeah we're not taking any more people i'm like huh as in you told me like i can come back it's not like i'm applying afresh like i was already shortlisted you know he's like no no, no it's just orders from above we are no longer taking people he, at, it's it's not even anything he can like you know there's nothing he can do about it those are orders from above apparently they even sent an email to everyone telling them that like you know they're not taking all of us i'm like i did not get an email i mean my email is working pretty fine and if i did get the email i would not have come back all the way obviously like i came because there was no email he's like oh, oh, oh i'm sorry but like really i uh, you should check your email because i did send an email blah blah at this point i was just like i'm not having it like you could have just told me you're not taking me and i would really appreciate if i did get the email so i didn't have to come back all the way but yeah it's fine so i just felt bad i was like okay thank you and then i just walked out because i was feeling so sad and bad i went to mcdonald's and got something to eat <laughs> and then i came then i literally slept guys it's literally 4 p.m so you can imagine i think i've literally been asleep from like 12. <sighs> i don't know i'll just you know we try again it was not fine for me probably that and work environment was not going to like it was not going to be worth it probably they would like they're not like nice people and stuff and it would not have been worth it so yeah let me just continue okay now i'm awake i want to i don't know i don't know i'll see you guys in the next clip bye